Game two of the World Series. We'll see the Baltimore Orioles as they play against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Only on 2K Sports. Welcome to this special postseason 2K Sports broadcast. Gary Thorne, John Craig, and Steve Phillips in this Game 2 of the World Series. There you're watching Aaron Harang as he gets set to go to the mound to start this game. And they have come to support their team in big time numbers, 56,000 on hand. As he gets into this Baltimore lineup, Steve, strategy wise? Well, against a lineup like this, even though you've got a good right hander on the mound, he's got a chance to have some damage done. He has to believe in damage control. Give up one run, but don't give up a crooked number. Time for the Pepsi starting lineup. Here's how the Orioles look. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, one of the more highly touted players coming out of the minor leagues, Matt Wieters. He's a guy that can do a lot of things on a baseball field. He's still trying to find his way at the major league level. But I tell you what, he has the chance to be a great one. Let's take a look at him today, and you guys make that decision. Getting our game started, Brian Roberts at the plate. Steve, as we get underway here, uh, how about your feelings on the Dodgers for this game? But when you get to this deep in the playoffs, the circumstances favor the team with experience. And at this point, they have all the experience they need with the success they've had all season long. Here's the 0-1 pitch, Harang. That's one away. And Steve, one thing that experience will do for you, you understand what momentum is all about. And when you get it, you don't give it up. And it makes the rest of the series that much easier. It gives you some margin for error. And while they have it, they just want to nail it down. Well hit towards the middle and Ellis picks it up and Jones sat down and we'll take a quick look at the Dodgers and see what they look like defensively. Who do you like out there Steve. Matt Kemp's athletic ability really shows on defense. He has that range to run the ball down and the athleticism to climb the wall to make great catches. And it's Nick Marcakis now. Two outs bases empty. The pitch from Harang. Curveball is over for a called strike. If you're 0 1 count, I'm looking for him to come right back with that fastball. Strike and down. it's 0 and 2, and Nick Marcakis is going to have to cut that swing down here. The hitter has to be protective. He has to be able to fight off that tough pitch and put it in play for a base hit if he can. Hit sharply towards the hole. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Well, that was a quick inning right there. Seven pitches. And first chance coming up for the Dodgers. Doing the pitching, Koji Uehara. He's starting the game for Baltimore. Steve, what do you think his strategy is going to be against this Dodger lineup? Koji Uehara has an unbelievable changeup. That's what you're going to notice here. But for that to be effective, he's going to have to command his fastball. If he doesn't do that, it takes away the effectiveness of the changeup. And the first pitch, here's a swing and a liner to left center. Well, that's a good start. First batter, first hit. Sponsored by Pepsi, a chance to check out the Dodgers lineup. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, when you look for an offensive player, you look for a guy who can deliver in a clutch, and that's what Andre Ethier can do. He loves coming up with that big hit, a bunch of walk-off hits in 2009. Let's see if that can continue in 2010. And Mark Ellis. Runner on first base. Nobody out. And here's the pitch. A fly ball. That one is foul. And here's the delivery. And Mark Ellis watches that one go by. Count is even. Well, hitters know those two seam fastballs down on the way turn into ground ball out. So they lay off of it. But with two strikes, it's a pitch you have to swing at. The one-two pitch. And Ellis, another foul ball. 
Well, anytime you're behind in a count, and in this case, the one-two count, you have to maintain that focus. You have to really be dialed into what the pitcher's throwing. You have to get in that defensive mode, though, and make sure you can foul it off, and that's what he did there to keep himself going. And two, double play. Here's a look, 4-6-3 on the double play. Now, that's the way they teach you, whether you're at second base or shortstop. One fluid motion, get it out of the glove, and get rid of it. So a chance here from Matt Kemp with two down. First pitch fastball misses badly that time. One and zero. Oh. Swung on, grounded towards the hole, and the tag is applied. Side retired. And so out of the inning, only eight pitches thrown. That's pretty efficient. Still scoreless in L.A. 